Welcome back to Circle Time with Miss Macon. Let's begin with our hello song. To all my friends in our preschool, hello is what I say to you. H-E-L-L-O, 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 hello to all of you. To all my friends in our preschool, hello is what I say to you. H-E-L-L-O, 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 hello to all of you. Okay, friends, thank you for helping to sing in our hello song. My friends, we have came to the end of our week. So, my friends, I thought it was a, would be a great idea to do a review. So, my friends, we started off this week by reading a book. Do you remember what book we read? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, did we read Brown Bear, Brown Bear? What do you see? Or did we read, we're going on a bear hunt? That's right, kiss your brains. Mm -hmm. We read, we're going on a bear hunt. So we started this week with this family going on a bear hunt. They went through different, different kinds of climates, different kinds of environments. And we're gonna be going through that a little bit today. Okay, so this is called a book walk. A book walk is when you just look at the pictures and we tell what happens. Okay, can you help me? Okay, but this time we're going to actually read this book and we're going to do some actions. Are you ready? Okay, we're going on a bear hunt. Let's see. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass, long wavy grass. Do we go over it or should we go under it? Oh, we have to go through it. Now my friends, to go through the grass, move your hands side to side like this. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Awesome. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river. A deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We have to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. So as you're going through the river, you're going to pretend that you're kind of swimming your way through. Can you do it by moving your arms? Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Awesome. Let's keep on reading. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, no. Mud. Thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. To get through the mud, friends, we have to take big steps. Can you help me? Squish, squash, squish, squash, squish, squash, squish, squash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest, a dark, big forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We have to go through it. Let's see how they get through the forest. Oh, I see. They do a stubble and a trip. Looks like they're tripping over branches. So let's try that. Stubble, trip, stubble, trip. Stubble trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh oh, a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. Now, to go through the snowstorm, friends, we have to say, woo! And can you also move your body around too? 
Since it's a swirly snowstorm, we have to move our body around. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I guess we have to go through it. Oh, they're tiptoeing. Can you tiptoe? Shiny wet nose, two big googly eyes, two big furry ear. It's a bear. I think we know what to do next. Run! Quick, back to the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back to the saucer. Quick, back to the forest. Stubble, trip, stubble, trip, stubble, trip. Back to the mud. Squish, squash, squish. Splash. Back to the river, splish, splash, splish, splash. Back to the grass, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs, shut the door, back upstairs, into the bedroom, into the bed, under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again. The end. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed our story again. I hope you got a chance to practice all of the movements with us. So, before we go, we should review everything that we learned this week. This week, we learned about a special letter. Oh, it's right behind me. What letter did we learn about this week? Good job! We learned about the letter H. Can you say H? This is uppercase H. Can you say that? Uppercase H and lowercase H. And the H says, can you do it? The H says, good job. So my friends, we focus on the letter H because we were reading, we're going on a bear hunt. And the word hunt also begins with the letter H. And we were doing a lot of hunting this week. We actually went on a little hunt ourselves and we found some bears in the forest. How many bears do you see in the forest? Now let's count to see if we're correct. One, two, three, four. There are four bears in the forest. Let's see if you can help me. Let's see if I can use my numbers to help me Recognize the number four. One, two, three, four. Yes, we have four bears in the forest. Thank you. We did some counting this week, and then we even did a little color hunt. And our friend, Mr. Bear, came along, and he was looking for some colors um, of food that he likes to eat. And guess what? Mr. Bear is back. Hi, Mr. Bear. Would you like to find something else to eat? Are you still hungry? Oh man, Mr. Bear, you're very hungry. What color would you like us to feed you today? Ooh. Mr. Bear says he would like to eat something that is red. Do you see something here that is red for Mr. Bear to eat? You do? What is it? Did you say strawberry? Awesome! Mr. Bear, would you like a strawberry to eat today? Okay, let's feed Mr. Bear. Mm. Thank you, guys. And also, my friends, we learned about a new shape. What shape did we learn about this week? Did you say square? Awesome! Kiss your brain again. Mm. I can't get anything past you. We learned about a square. We learned that a square has one, two, three, four 
equal sides, right? And then we use squares to make a, do you remember? A bear. So we did some crafting with our square and we made square ears, we made square eyes, and we made a bear square nose. Thank you guys for joining us this week. We're gonna have some more fun learning about more bears. We already learned that bears live in forests and some bears even live in caves, right? And we also learned that bears like to eat things like strawberries, bees, and blueberries, okay? So my friends, we'll see each other again next week, okay? All right, bye bye friends, bye bye friends, bye bye friends, I'll see you next time. Bye friends, see you next time.